Well, that was uh, <clears throat> cutting it very, very close. 30 seconds to 9 o'clock in uh, Dubai. And that means it's 11.59 and 30 seconds to midnight in Texas. Here's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> today, I'm going to do my uh, next day. Hey, Karen, what day is it? What day is it on our uh, plan? I don't have my my uh, material. This is what we call living on the edge. I left all my webcast uh, paperwork and equipment at the uh, book festival. I was going to get there this morning earlier, but we're having a little transportation issue. So boy, I live it on the edge. Um, today, what I'm going to do, this will be my last one at midnight for this week. Um, I'm going to be doing them around, uh, let me see if it's nine. I'm going to do it around five, about uh, eight or nine in the morning central time. So uh, the, the next one I'll do will be in the morning. That'll be, I'm going to start to switch to mornings rather than the uh, midnight one for you guys. Um, so here's what we got. I, I wanted to show you this. I had such a great time at this elementary and junior and uh, senior high school. That was just so cool. I love doing that. And I'm enjoying my day one. This is day two of the uh, Sharjah Children's Reading Festival. I'm enjoying that very much. I left, I don't have any of my paper. I'm here in the hotel and I just had to get a drawing lesson. So I'm gonna use the back of the the book, Sarja, my, this was my tag information. I'm gonna use the back of an envelope to show you guys. Or oh, we could even use a little Radisson notepad, okay? Whatever you've got. One drawing a day, no matter what. One drawing a day. I'm gonna do mornings, so uh, it'll be eight. I'm guessing it'll be eight o'clock. That means it'll be, uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna, uh, it, it'll, it might even be earlier. It might be six in the morning, Texas time because it's nine hours difference. But let's see, all right, for our, our uh, just a really fun, I'm using an ink pen today, a ballpoint pen. This is what Tim Decker does a lot. And I'm having a, boy, I'm just having all kinds of wonderful issues. My battery just came on saying that it's, uh, my battery's uh, not doing well, <laughs> meaning it's slow. So here, just draw a block. And uh, so I have, uh, I called the front desk down there asking about the power my uh, power converter, I, my, I'm waiting for a three-prong converter. I left it at the other hotel, bummer. All right, so we're gonna draw like this picture frame. This is just gonna be a really cool <clears throat> overlapping exercise. One drawing a day, no matter what, no matter how, how much. I'm forgoing shaving today to get my drawing done. What do you think of that? I'm Mr. Gruffy Face, but hey, Facial hair in the Mideast is kind of a requirement, so I feel like I fit in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna draw spheres. I'm gonna draw like a planet over here on the side, right? And then I'm gonna draw a planet over here. And then watch this, I'm gonna overlap a planet. Isn't that cool? Then I'll put a planet up here and then I'm gonna put, look at this, I'm gonna put another, like, look looking out. Maybe this is just like a whole room. Maybe some small and some big. You see this? Put put some small and some big. Put a variation. And I'll put a big one. And this fine. I'm just gonna do do to think of spheres, okay? And just just fill up this this wonderful. Look at that! Isn't that cool? All right. So now. I'm going to go through here, and now using my ballpoint pen, I'm going to shade the nooks and crannies. This is a wonderful one, a wonderful exercise for shading the nooks and crannies. I'm using my little Radisson Hotel ballpoint pen. Do you guys love this so far? At the back of an envelope? Hey, Clinton, Clinton, check it out. <laughs> I'll use the back of my... Uh, Shar Sharjah Book Festival tag envelope. J just so you guys, no matter what, <clears throat> one drawing a day, no matter what, no matter what you draw on, could be a little sketch like this, could be just a little tiny, you know, I mean, it could be on uh, your in-room dining card if you have to, a napkin. Oh, you know what I really want to do is take my Sharpie and I want to draw on the side of these. Have you ever done that? I'm not going to, it's a hotel mug. But at home, I went to Michael's and I bought uh, four mugs that 
that were uh, non-glossy mugs, and I drew Sharpie. Me and the kids, we did this one Christmas, and we we drew elves and reindeer on the outside of them, and then we uh, treated them. I can't I can't remember how we did it. I think it was we had to put them in the oven, or we had to uh, uh, spray them with something, and then put them in the oven. But they uh, they lasted for a couple years. It was really cool. And I've drawn on paper plates before. I've drawn just whatever you have handy. Just whatever you have handy. So you get the idea here. Just uh, loose and sketchy. We're just practicing nook and cranny shading. We're practicing overlapping. And I guess today's message is, doesn't matter what material you have, a ballpoint pen, a pencil, uh, you know, a calligraphy pen, dipping it in ink, whatever you have handy, just do one drawing a day, no matter what. One drawing a day. Today I was 30 seconds, 30 seconds from missing the 24 hour mark. So what I'm gonna do to avoid that is I'm gonna do my next day. Hey, Karen, what day is today? Well, hey, Clinton, you're the one who inspired the whole thing to start for 90 days, buddy. Uh, Karen, what day is it today? It's day 106 or 107 or 108. I need to write it over here. What day is it on our... I don't have my my uh, 107. So we could put one... I'm going to put 107 over here, you guys. 107 right there. Congratulations, you guys. I'm going to sign my name. You guys sign your name to your drawing. And uh, I just... I just Really had a hard time making sure I got on here before the. I got to get the shuttle over to the book festival, but I wanted to do my one drawing with you guys. Now I'm having the. Technically, I should have. You know what I should have done? This one uh, should the lights coming from the inside. It would have been shaded on the others opposite, right? This is correct. This is correct. These are all correct. I was wrong on this one. This one I made a mistake. See the shading on this one technically. If the light's coming from in the middle in here, like the, this is our light here, right? That this is our light in the middle coming out here. See if the light's coming from the center. I'm gonna switch this around here. If the light's coming from the middle, I'm gonna make the light coming from the middle here, right? Kind of like that. Like I got all quiet. I'm concentrating. It is so funny, you guys. You draw with me just right before I pass out at night, or you draw with me right when I'm trying to get going in the morning. Oh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to read for the next, today is, uh, what is today? What is today? Today is, uh, I think it's Thursday. I think today's Thursday. So for th uh, today, for that'll be your, it's Wednesday night for you guys, or Thursday at, you know, noon or midnight. Uh, I'm gonna try to draw, so let me see here. If it's nine hours, if I wanna draw with you guys at let's say 8 a.m., it would be 11 p.m. tonight. But if I drew with you, ready? This is Dubai time. And this is Central Standard Time. That would be if I wanted to draw with you uh, Thursday morning. Now, if I want to, if I, let's say I draw at, oh, 3 p.m. today. Let's say I do a, a, a workshop at 3 p.m. today in Dubai, minus nine yesterday. So that would be six, okay. What would this be? 3 p.m. minus, help me here, guys. <laughs> this would be minus three, we knew 12. Okay, uh, someone help me. You're on Thursday, so it's 3 p.m. This is 3 p.m. If I do 3 p.m. on Thursday today, what time is it going to be in? And this is not that hard. I'm just trying to get my brain working today. 3 p.m. Dubai. Help me. So minus is noon, and then six. So it'd be six. Would it be 6 a.m.? What that would be? Now it doesn't make sense. Help me. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm having a hard time here. I'm thinking about this, but now I'm I, uh, three minus nine, right? So it's 12. 
and then another six, so it'd be 6 a.m., right? I guess. I guess that would be 6 a.m. I'm guessing. I'm thinking. I'll, I'll double check that. But anyways, all right, I got to go get my shuttle to the book festival. I will be going on sometime this afternoon, Dubai time. And uh, good luck. I guess you just have to set your alarm. I don't know. Someone can help me if you guys want to send it in there. All right, well, hey, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for drawing your overlapping spheres, your kind of uh, space scene here. Getting all the nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies. And I love doing that repetition. Hello, Eric King. And there you go. A really fun exercise. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, actually, not a wonderful day. Have a great night's sleep. And I'll see you at 3 in the morning. Janet, help me. What is that? Someone help me with that. If it's 3 p.m. minus 12 would be 3 a.m. Plus, that's what it is. It's 6 a.m. It'll be 6 a.m. for you guys uh, tomorrow morning. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Bye, guys. You're awesome. You're wonderful. I love you. Take care of each other. See ya. Bye.